Okay guys, so what's up? This is your girl Shalinda One and welcome back for another hair video. But this is not for my hair. This is for little Miss Kennedy. Say hi mama. Hi. And we are, come here, where are you going? You gotta get back over here. Stay there. And we about to, what are we about to do to your hair? Can, can you turn it down for me real quick? What, um, can you tell them what, what we about to do to your hair? Yeah. What we about to do to your hair? Like what? What are we doing? Uh, yeah. We're washing. You're gonna wash your hair. Wash. Yeah, we're gonna wash your hair today. Wash your hair. guys so it's about that time but okay let me give you guys some background in 2016 she wore her hair like this how cute is she and in 2017 she wore her hair like this so now we're in 2018 and she wants to wear and she did wear her hair like this so there's a rule in my house and you only get one heat pass per year and it only comes for Easter so this is Kennedy's favorite time of year so I wanted to show you guys what I do for her special day I first started with the night before I put an oil in her hair because I know I'm going to go through the whole process today. So I start with an oil and I let that sit in overnight. So we start with detangling. Where'd you go? Detangling. <laughs> so detangling is a very important part because you want to get out any knots. Her hair usually, you know, it only gets straightened once a year. So fairy knots are real in her hair. So I start with some warm water just to open up the cuticle and help um, detangle the hair with my fingers as much as possible then I go in with my good old faithful Tresemme I love Tresemme I can use as much as I want it's cheap and it coats her hair really nice add some extra water it has a pretty decent amount of slip and this is what I use to detangle Kennedy's hair and I detangle her hair in small sections I go in with one of my detangling brushes and I detangle her hair. I start from the ends and I work my way up. Every once in a while I get beside myself and in front of myself and try to go into the root and her hair always reminds me, uh uh, I'm in control here. Start at the root and work your way, so I'm sorry, start at the ends and work your way up to the roots. This is the last section. Her hair is thoroughly detangled and I go straight into the next portion of this bad boy, which is shampooing. I use a clarifying shampoo in her hair and I wanted to show you this clip because this is the way I've been wearing, uh, washing her hair since she was a baby and I still use that same method today. This is her regular weekly hair products this is what I use but today I did go in with this clarifying shampoo it is the best clarifying shampoo ever you want to make sure that the hair is clarified before you go in with any form of heat any type of buildup you definitely will cause breakage if you go in with heat with product buildup on the hair and or scalp so you want to go in with a clarifying shampoo I wash her hair the same way as you see here. Nothing's changed. I'm getting old, my back hurts, can't be leaning over, so this is the best way that I can make sure I get to her hair. And what I do is when I shampoo her hair, I shampoo her hair in sections. So I shampoo the top section first, and then I immediately, while the cuticle is still open, I apply her deep conditioner. Now, depending on the week, sometimes I heat the deep conditioner up, and sometimes I'll go straight in. Being that I knew she was gonna get under the dryer, I just applied the deep conditioner as soon as I thoroughly cleansed and rinsed out the shampoo. 
And this is the deep conditioner that I used right her. Love it. I love this um, blow dryer method for her. Instead of finding something stationary, she could still move around and she's not stuck. And she can still move. Here I'm just showing you the shampoo that I used as well as the deep conditioner. Now I'm going straight into the blow drying section. If you see any section in this video that you would like more details in, I recorded everything, so definitely let me know below in the comments. So this is her hair, freshly washed and deep conditioned, no, no products in it, and these are the two products I'm gonna go in with. Knowing that I'm going to be adding heat to her hair, I'm going to go in with these products very lightly. These are both by Jane Carter, a part of her healthy hair. Um, collection. I used this whole collection on Kennedy's hair. I absolutely love it on week to week. But today I'm just going to go in with these two products and I'm going to use a very little bit. They are great for heat protection, especially for blowing out the hair. So like I said, being that I'm going to go in with heat, I'm going to use these products very sparingly. I'm focusing on the ends the most. Ha ha! Ha ha! I did. I went and picked up one of these blow dryers. I did do a video on a different type of style, but to be honest with you, I prefer this one so much more just because the heat is able to come out in one direction and it, it is a slightly quicker. But I guess the part that I like it about it the most is the brush. It helps detangle the hair at the same time. Um, I still can't say it was like faster, but I do feel like it was better and I did get a better result than the traditional blow dryer. I have to say, she's laughing because she said, Mommy, I feel like Rapunzel. So she loves having long hair and um, she was feeling herself right here. I have to say, I really enjoyed this blow dryer. If you want a, a full detailed video on the process and my full thoughts, let me know. Now I'm switching it over to cool. I want to now close her hair shaft as much as possible. So I waited a few minutes and now I'm gonna go in with cool and I'm going to do a few passes to make sure that I seal in some of that cool, um, cool air. Her hair is about middle back length, almost tailbone length here, but don't worry, I'm about to cut it all off. So, now we're gonna go into the flat ironing portion. This chi is, it is just an old faithful. I love it, I live for it, I'll always use it. I put a decent amount, almost like a quarter size amount when I'm doing sections, I do oh, I do her entire head in sections, and I apply that thoroughly throughout the full section of hair. So I'm going through, I'm gonna split it, I'm gonna apply it to the ends as well as the elongation of the hair, and I'm only going to use that amount. Then I'm gonna split the hair, and then I'm gonna go in with maybe a dime size amount, very little bit, and I'm just, just this is just going to make sure any of those areas that I missed that I can make sure I get before I apply any direct heat to her hair. I flat iron in very small sections. And the reason why I do very small sections is because I'm only going to do one pass per section. What helps me out is my Izami um, flat iron I love. And then I use a very dense brush. I love this brush just because it really helps me straighten her hair. So I apply this brush and it just allows her hair to get super straight and I do, I do the chase method. So I apply the brush, make sure the hair is really well into the bristles and then I apply the heat. The flat iron is anywhere between 380 and 400. I do want to make sure it's nice and high um, because I'm only going to do one pass and that's very important, one pass. I think maybe twice and only twice I did one strand, maybe like two passes. And it was probably because I went a little bit too fast and it didn't get as straight as possible, like right there. But for the most part, I take, I take my time with each pass to ensure that I only have to do one pass per strand. And remember, she only gets her hair flat ironed once a year. So I'm not worried about heat damage or anything like that because, like I said, it's only one time and I make sure her hair is 
thoroughly protected. I use a deep conditioner that's all about rebuilding and reviving the hair. That means there's proteins that's added to make sure the hair is nice and strong. And then I use my cheek so um, I use my chi to make sure that it also helps protect from heat. So I don't have that problem. Now this is the part that she's not too happy about. She hasn't had a good trim in years. And guess what she's getting today? Yes, she didn't get her ends trimmed. She got, no, she didn't get a dusting. She got a straight trim. I wind up cutting off about, I think, maybe four inches of hair altogether. Thank you. About four inches of hair. It was desperately needed. It's okay. She ain't going nowhere. She'll be just fine. It was much, much needed, and her hair looked a billion times better afterwards. So she wasn't happy, but then once it was all over and she still saw how long her hair was, she was okay. I do trim her hair after each pass. And the reason why I like to do it in small sections to make sure that I do not miss any split ends. I wanna do it in small sections and at the end, I'll make sure it's shaped well. But I do cut off and trim her hair after each single piece. That is my method. If you're, that's not your method, that's fine, but that's what I choose to do for my hair as well as hers. It's worked out for both of us because I'm in need of a tremendous trim and I'll be doing it in soon, very soon. Like I said, I did cut off about, yeah, about three, maybe three and a half, four inches in certain places. I, I wasn't, I, I was not light with the scissors. I went in because I felt like her ends desperately needed. I'd rather her hair look nice, full and healthy than long and straggly. That's not cute. So now that I'm all done flat ironing her hair, this is the way it's looking. The dimming brush is going straight through. The shine is ridiculous. And if you can really see, I could have gone a little bit more. However, I didn't because at this level, it looks pretty good to me. And maybe sometime next year on Easter again, I'll go in with another trim. But for the most part, this is, this is sufficient for now. I cut off about four inches. I think she's good. She went from middle back length to much shorter, but she's fine. She's fine. She's, she's beautiful. She's, she's the ball. See her face she was not happy <laughs> so yeah I, I cut a good few inches off but she'll be all right now it's time for the silk wrap and the reason why I do this is to add some body to the hair now I'm not gonna go in with an uh, roller wrap her hair because I don't want her hair too big so I just take my uh, flat iron and I just go in very lightly nothing very serious and I kind of just bump the ends and try to add some form of a slight curl to the hair. I do not apply any extra products because remember, I went in pretty thoroughly with the cheese silk infusion serum, which is a fabulous heat protectant. And there you have it. So this is as simple as it's gonna be. And now all I'm gonna do is start to wrap. I'm gonna grab my dimming brush and I'm going back to my doobie days. <laughs> Anybody know about the Dominican doobie spot? This is, where, this is where you learn how to wrap your hair. So that's what I'm gonna be doing here. I'm just going to wrap her hair all the way around.
and I'm brushing quite lightly using my fingers a lot and only brushing the root and using my fingers to detangle and uh, that's the finished result right there so it's nice and wrapped look at the natural shine her hair is so healthy it's perfect so now it's time for the saran wrap and what this does it kind of just bakes the hair almost it just really makes sure that steam gets in there and really help sealing those curls in that body just add some body to the hair and you just put it back under the dryer for like eight to ten minutes it can be sometimes a little less and just look at it it is you can see the body before it even shimmer 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 shake 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 Shake, 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 shake your booty, baby. <laughs> and just add a little bit of body to the hair, and there you have it. That is Kennedy's full Easter one year past hairdo. I love it. She loves it. And this lasted a few days. She still has it in her hair right now. Um, I'm going to show you the picture of the way she wore her hair. And it's raining right now, and it also rained yesterday. So the humidity blocker spray that I'm using right now is fantastic on her hair. I really love it. But this, why, this is why she needed her hair trimmed. Look how nice and healthy her hair looks. Get rid of those straggly ends and just rock your natural hair. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, of course, you already know what to do. I love you guys, and I will see you in the very next video. Bye, guys.